Hello, my name is Mario Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we're going to study long division with decimals. And long division with decimals is really very easy. And um, assuming we have a whole number divisor. And in this lesson, we only have whole numbers as divisors. I have another video what to do if the divisor is a decimal. Okay. Here we have a whole number divisor and the algorithm of long division works just the same as if this was not a decimal number. You just divide as if there was no decimal point. 3 goes to 2, 0 times, and 25, 8 times, 24, subtract 1, drop down this 1, and 3 goes to 11, 3 times, then subtract 21 and 7. And the division is even here. Then in the end, I just put the decimal point at the same place where it was in the dividend. The reason it works this way is because the whole long division algorithm has to do where we have numbers with, say, thousands, hundreds, tens, Ones and so on. We go from one place value unit to the next smaller one to the next smaller one to the next smaller one. And that's how numbers are. Uh, here it is tens, ones, tenths, hundreds, but each unit is ten times the, the smaller unit. So it works whether it is with decimals or not. And in this example, we can start dividing. Four goes to five once. Subtract and drop down this. Now 4 doesn't go to 11 evenly, so our division looks like it's not even. 4 goes to 11 two times. And so we're left with a remainder of 3. However, I can continue this division if I put here I tag on some decimal zeros. Let's put a 0 here and drop that down here. 4 goes to 37 times. There's still a remainder. But if I tag another decimal zero and drop that down, 4 goes to 20 evenly, and now I've got an even division, and I put the decimal point in the answer. My last example has to do with finding 3 sevenths to 4 decimal digits. Okay? 3 sevenths is a fraction, and we're going to use long division to write this fraction as a decimal. Remember, a fraction is a division problem because 3 sevenths it is like this fraction line is a division symbol 3 divided by 7 so I just write my 3 here inside the corner and 7 outside and sometimes kids don't know which way it goes you know but try to remember that you have this number divided by this 25 divided by 3 so 3 divided by 7 it can look kind of odd because it's a smaller number inside but that's how it works. We have 3 on top, 3 divided by 7. And to get even started, we can't even get started until we put some decimal zeros here, okay? And remember, after this, you divide as if there was no decimal point. It's like 7, it's like 3,000 or some big number divided by 7. And it says to find it to 4 decimal digits. So I will have my decimal point in my answer, and then I want to have 4 decimal digits here. 7 goes to 3, no times. 7 goes to 30, 4 times. Then we get 20, it goes 2 times. And we get 60, it goes 8 times, 8 times 7. Now I need to add more zeros there. And um, 7 goes to 40, 5 times. Then we need more zero. zeros. Now I have my four decimals, but that's not enough because this next decimal that would be here, um, I will need to cut off my decimal here, but that means that I'm going to be rounding. I'm going to round it to four decimal digits. So I need to find one more decimal here to check if this five would be rounded up or down. So I will go one more time. Seven goes to 50, seven times. 7 times 7 would be 49, but that doesn't matter anymore. Now, this is my cutoff point. We have four decimals here. The 7 will make now this decimal to be 6. It's going to be rounded up. So it is 0 0.4286 to 4 decimal digits.
Flores, como te dices. 